Welcome to DAX Electronic Repair. Today we're going to be upgrading some RAM in an HP 15-AY000 DDR4 RAM. Um, there's a lot of different models. They all start with AY. Um, they all have different specs and things like this. This one's an i3 7th gen, but as long as it looks like this, this is the way that you do it. All right, first thing you're going to do is release the battery. Got those two buttons, squeeze them together. I guess they're levers. And release the battery. And then you're going to take out a bunch of screws. There's one hidden underneath this rubber piece, and then there's going to be one on the other side. I like to make a pattern on my magnet uh, mat so I know where each one goes, where it corresponds to. It makes it easier to put it back together. There are 12 screws in this one that they are all the same, so it doesn't really matter. But sometimes it does, so it's good to be in that in that habit. All right, all the screws are out, so the back plate can come off with the the bottom of the machine. And you just want to get a prior and start prying the bottom casing away from the um, keyboard palm rest assembly. Some computers you have to take the keyboard out. This one you do not. This one just the bottom. Start prying it out little by little. Don't go too deep with your prying tool. You don't want to short anything out even though the battery's out of it. There can be residual electricity running through it. Once you get it pried up, just go around the sides. There's little clips there where the disk drive is. Those are the most fragile part of it. So make sure you loosen those up. Just making sure there's not an extra screw or two hiding and there wasn't. Just got to use a little bit of force and you're good and it comes off. All right, now you've accessed everything. Uh, if you look right here, you will see there are two D, uh, RAM slots. This is the first one. Right now they have 8 gigs, one stick of DDR4. So I just looked at that, made sure it is what it's supposed to be. It is. And we're just going to add another stick that we have in the other slot. It does show two slots in the task manager, so we decided to do that. Again, it's DDR4. It has to be the right RAM for it to work. It won't even fit if it isn't, <clears throat> so don't force it. All right, now we're going to power it back on, make sure it's reading and recognizing the RAM. And you can see there it says 12 gigs up top and slots use two of two for the RAM slots. So that means we did it. And there's just a quick shot of how I organize the back plate so I know where everything goes. And that's really it. You just put all 12 of your screws back in, slide your disk drive back in before you put that screw in. Not that screw. Not that screw. Not that screw. But that one is the one that holds the DVD drive in. And then you put the hidden ones in and you got all 12. And that is a successful upgrade for this computer. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.